hopefully I don't get a copyright strike for this. John Anik, let me start off by saying speech. you've been doing a tremendous job lately. You've been working so hard tonight. So let me Very take this nice. off your hands for a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the silent majority is ready to make some noise. If you thought that was a beating, wait till November 3rd when Donald Trump gets his hands on Sleepy Joe. That's going to be a landslide. Oh. It's not like you're really black. What? And you ain't black. Don't raise it! Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. <laughs> That's f***ing illegal. You're racist. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this Covington. contest at one minute, Covington, like seconds the Catholic of round number five. Ooh, declaring the winner opponent. by Badly. two KO. It's a grudge Tony. match, too. KO! It's oh, boy. Down. Just for some context, there's a whole meme of uh, racism meme. We don't have a belt for you tonight, but it was Not certainly a championship performance, and I'd imagine this one feels pretty damn good. So, uh, hopefully I don't get a copyright strike for this. John Anik, let me start off by saying speech. you've been doing a tremendous job lately. You've been working so hard tonight, so let me Very take this nice. off your hands for a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the take it off your hands for a minute. is ready to make some noise. If you thought that was a beating, wait till November 3rd when Donald Trump gets his hands on Sleepy Joe. That's going to be a landslide. Oh, wanna, <laughs> big mega dump, guy here. I want to dedicate this fight to all the first responders, all the military out there. You know, this world would not be safe without you guys. You know, you keep us safe. And, uh, you know, not these woke athletes, man. I'm sick of these woke athletes and these spineless cowards like LeBron James. And speaking of spineless cowards, Calling Marty Fake Newsman, Street Judas, we got unfinished business. Marty there's Fake Newsman. And there's nowhere to hide. <laughs> Street Judas. You. You're next. Oh, boy. Colby Covington, oh, he's kind of wearing on me. He's been playing this heel character for a while, and it's really paying off for him. He's up next for uh, to get the belt, so that'll be interesting. And it just so happens that um, in seconds of well, he was being sort of accused of being a, a racist guy because he supports Donald Trump, right? He's a MAGA guy. He's got his American flag right here, obviously. And he knows he's actually he's from Portland, which is so interesting. I think he's actually from Portland, or he. He's representing Portland. He's connected to Portland somehow. He's gotten sick and tired of all the wokeness, and he's gone radicalized the other way. Um, and he's been playing this sort of Chael Sonnen uh, heel heel guy, which is uh, the kind of he's taken a, a note out of Donald Trump's book. He's come up as like he is a uh, what does he say? I'm a bad guy, but. Or not a bad guy, what is it? I'm a mean guy, that's right. Not bad, I'm a good guy, but I'm a mean guy. But I work for you. I'm a mean guy, but I work for you. Yeah, so he's kind of taking the same role, same thing. And he calls out LeBron James with this fake woke thing. And he's oh, so woke about the human rights and then doesn't say anything about China and the concentration camps and the Uyghur Muslims they have in China. Doesn't say anything about that. So I think that's pretty legit calling him out. Uh, I like that. And there's been this big grudge match. Uh, I gotta find the racist meme. There it is. That's racist. Uh, there's for a while. Tyron Woodley. Let's see what we got here. There's a whole Tyron Woodley meme thing. Oh, great. We're doing a meme review. What is it, dear? Can't go to school. It's awful. My hair. At least that I look like a black boy. Oh. You look like no such thing. It looks cute. Does not. Oh, oh no. Come on. This is not, this is not it's appropriate. Broken. It's not like you're really black. What? Just raise it! <laughs> That's fing illegal. You're racist. <laughs> I really enjoyed the Colby Covington versus Woodley fight as well. Uh, it was a great fight, and it kind of made me think Colby, Co Colby Covington kind of fights in the same style that Donald Trump fights. There's nothing Colby Covington does. It's not a crazy knockout artist. He's not throwing crazy kicks. He can do a high kick. He can punch hard, but that's not his thing. He can wrestle good, and he had a really nice uh, high crotch dump move that he did. It was really great. Uh, and on Tyron Woodley, he was like a really good wrestler. It was quite impressive. Colby Covington has actually put on a really impressive performance. But the thing that got him the win is that he just outworked the guy. He just did more work. And it's like little wins, little wins, like Trump does. He's got little wins here, a little peace deal there, a little Nobel Peace Prize there. Little <laughs> little wins all over the place. He's going to keep winning until you're sick of winning. And that's basically uh, the, the strategy that Colby Covington uh, employed 
was, you know, just keep fighting, keep attacking, keep punching, keep wrestling, keep kicking, keep doing more and more and more than Tyron Woodley can do. And just he sort of doubled the output, basically, and, and just beat him down until he broke one of uh, Woodley's ribs and he just gave up. He was sick of it. He said, no mas. You know, he just gave up. And and hopefully when Trump wins in a landslide, as it, as it's almost certain in my view, and with a majority of the black vote perhaps, or the black male vote, or at least a strong enough black turnout for Trump, that uh, it'll be sure that the black America handed Trump re-election. I think that's going to be clear, and the and the liberals are going to be so, the left, I'm a liberal, never mind, the whole left, the Democrats are going to be so shocked, I hope, that they'll just give up, like Tyrone Woodley. They said, that's enough. I'm done. This hurts too much. Even the blacks don't agree with us now. <laughs> We've lost them to Trump, even after years of trying to paint the guys a racist. It didn't work. Nothing we were doing is work. Even rioting and burning and looting doesn't work. It's not actually going to work. Maybe we should just try to work with this orange guy and uh, try to make deals with him and, and get little wins along the way. We can all work together and, and be more prosperous. Hopefully... That's what will happen. That's my hope for the future. Anyways, if you like the content, please subscribe. We'll get up to 100 uh, subscribers. 1,000 next. We'll take over the world. Um, uh, anyways, I'm just going to keep doing it. And uh, maybe one day we can have a big, big old audience. But for now, I get 10 views. I really appreciate the people who actually watch the content. Thank you. I do it for you. And... Um, I do it for myself, too, just to get it out of my system. So I don't have to, like, talk to everybody else about this stuff 24-7 and, you know, never have any normal relationships or uh, <laughs> or uh, get anything done at work. So I'm trying to get it out of my system. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Tune in next time. Share it. Like it. Tweet it out. You know, go to Minds.com and sign up. Go to BitChute. I'm on BitChute. Go there. Only Real Cloud everywhere. Bye. Please consider subscribing if you like the content, leave a like or a comment, I'll probably reply. Hit that notification bell and the all button if you want to get it, otherwise uh, YouTube's probably suppressing it. Maybe I'm not big enough for them to notice or care yet, but uh, that'd be kind of uh, be kind of flattering if they were.